Khadija asked a question on the introduction to ecosystem tutorial in the ultimate guide to A-level biology. And he asked, what do you mean by dynamic equilibrium? Well, we use lots of terms and this is not a key term that you're gonna to have to use or give the definition of in the exam, but understanding what it is, is pretty important. So we've got two words, dynamic means constantly moving, constantly changing, never stationary, basically. And equilibrium, you're probably familiar in terms of chemistry, we've got something going this way and something going that way and it's balancing out in both directions. So ecosystems are often described as a balanced or a dynamic equilibrium because you've got lots of factors here, they're horrendously complicated. There's lots, you know, you've got lots of organisms within each organism, you've got different populations, interspecific, intraspecific competition, there's loads of stuff going on all the time. So we describe them as dynamic because they're not just stationary, it's not like balancing a seesaw where it reaches equilibrium, it's then balanced and then nothing moves basically. There, there is actually a little bit of movement in chemical equations most of the time. However, in biology, it's a bit messier. We don't have the clean atomic balance of chemistry. So a dynamic equilibrium is simply something that's in balance in that you've got maybe more foxes one year. Obviously the classic will be then they're gonna eat more rabbits, but then the fox numbers will die because all the rabbits will be dead and then you're gonna have a bouncing back. So it's this feedback between the living elements of the ecosystem, which we call a dynamic equilibrium. It's always moving, it's always changing, but it's it's regulatory. There's lots of negative feedbacks, which means that it it's corrective and restores the balance of how energy is normally distributed in the ecosystem. So I hope that helps with that definition. If you're looking for more help, I'm gonna be picking a few nice comments that I think will be really helpful to explain personally, rather than writing my replies to the comments on the videos. So just keep using the system and yeah, Ultimate Guide users, it's a great resource. Ask me questions and I'll send you answers.